Now, if I told you that customers simply hate to wait for a solution to their support issues, would it be news to you? Would it be a huge shock to learn that they really don't have a lot of patience to be put on hold or to play email tag? Probably not. And you're probably already aware that there's been an astounding rise in demand from today's customers in two basic areas. The first is empathy. Now, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do another podcast about writing customer emails and how using templates and canned responses lacks the empathy that today's customers say many support interactions lack. Now, the other rise in feedback coupled with empathy from customers already in 2022 is they want faster response times. I'm sure you'll agree with me that it's a trend that has erupted and doesn't seem to be going anywhere. We're going to find out why. Stick around. Hey guys, and welcome along to another episode of Telecast PH with me, your host, Jeff Thompson. Thank you very much for joining. Now, before we begin, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this podcast, Telework PH. We build your team, your customers get the benefit. To find out more, just hop on over to www.teleworkph.com or connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm the Client Solutions Manager for Telework PH. Right, so on to today's topic. Yes, 2022 customers want better responsiveness. Now, the reality about 2022 so far and certainly beyond is that if there was ever a new normal, it's that people nowadays expect everything instantly. Not just want, they expect super fast or even instant resolutions. Now, they certainly expect at the very least instant replies, which can put a huge strain on a customer support team during peak hours. Now, slow response times, or even what a lot of companies may call reasonable response times, can damage the relationship with the customer. But you see, it's really not their fault. To understand where they are coming from, just take a look at the world in which we all live in today. Computers, the internet, smartphones, and all the other apps and services that go with it have created an impatient monster. Now, I just saw the other day an app that you can download and use, and it can teach you a brand new language in just a few weeks. I spent four years in high school taking Spanish, and I still don't speak it fluently. The point is no one has to wait for anything anymore. And when they do, they tend to get a bit crabby. Even I find myself getting a little impatient having to sit through an entire Netflix intro as if the world is going to fall down in the next minute. So I simply click the skip intro button and even use that 10 seconds ahead feature until I get to the meat and potatoes of the movie that I want to see. I don't have time to sit through all that nonsense. I want my movie now. And many customers, your customers, probably have the very same sentiment. Maybe even you. To put it bluntly, all of these advancements have created a global culture where cultivating the virtue of patience is just simply not necessary. Now, back in my day, it wasn't that way. Now, don't laugh. But back in my day, if we wanted to see a movie at home, we had to get in the car, drive to the video rental store, rent the movie, stand in line, do whatever, and then drive all the way back home. And if they were out of the stock of the movie that you wanted to see, well, you had to wait even more. If you wanted to listen to a song, we didn't have YouTube. If you did not have the cassette tape or the DVD, you waited for it to come onto the radio. We actually sent handwritten letters out into the abyss, hoping they would find their way to the recipient in a, in a week or so. There was no instant messaging. Now get this, there was even a time when we actually had to buy film for a camera. A roll would have about 24 exposures, they called them. Then we would take the pictures. Okay, everybody get together. All right, smile, say cheese, one, two, three, hold it, click. And then you got to crank the little knob or whatever. And then, okay, okay, one more, just in case that one doesn't turn out. We had no way to review what just happened to see if that picture's any good. Then we had to take that film, drop it off at the pharmacy or a photo hut or some other developer. And then we'd have to wait like an entire week before we could see the pictures and how they turned out but it's not like that anymore. Today, almost everything is instant. 
You have instant banking, instant messaging, instant loans, instant pictures, instant noodles, instant approval, instant movies, instant music. When I think about this, I'm reminded of the movie The Shawshank Redemption. You remember that movie? The Shawshank Redemption and, and the character Brooks, when he was released from prison, and I believe he was in there for like 50 years or so, and he's writing that letter back to the guys who are still in prison, and he famously said, the world went and got itself into a big damn hurry. And that's how it is. Nothing, nothing could be more true. Now, I mention all of this because some would want to argue that the old timers like me, I'm a Gen Xer, are more patient because of our experiences before. And they would like to argue that this kind of behavior only belongs to the millennials or the Gen Zers. To a certain degree, maybe, if you're looking into your customer base. But this instant lifestyle is as global as it is generational. Gen X and even Boomer customers have been influenced by this technology. So, like it or not, people have grown accustomed to this instant lifestyle. Customer service and customer support have no choice but to adapt with these changing trends. Look, customer emails will come when they come, meaning any time of the day or night. It may not be convenient for you that someone reports their issue at 9 o'clock in the evening or at 3 a.m. and actually expects a result right away. Or the support queue floods with more tickets than your current support team can handle. But every second that ticks by is another frustrated customer looking into your competitor. You may be at the point where you want to just throw your hands up and fiercely announce, ah, there's nothing more I can do. You just can't afford more support staff. But let me ask you this, can you afford to lose customers? Because that's what matters most now in 2022 is the customer experience. So you might think losing a few customers over to the competitor is an acceptable loss if it saves you from additional customer support or customer service costs. But what about those potential customers? Because when a customer leaves, they take about 16 other people with them right over to your competitor. How? Word of mouth. Unhappy customers are 95% more likely to talk about their experiences. Now that's a fact you cannot argue with, either online or with family or friends. And that's not new. A 2019 study done by Forbes reports that customers tell around nine people when they have a positive experience, but they will tell 16 people about a negative customer experience. In another article I found in INC Magazine, and I'll put the link in the description, the number one reason that drives customers away is, yep, you guessed it, when they have to wait too long. Look, people are busy and they lead busy lives. Your customers are busy. And if you value their time, they will value you and your brand more. It's that simple. Now, these things are important because when it comes to the customer experience, which is the new battleground, it's crucial to keep a close watch on all the current trends, both in your own company as well as in the competitors and globally. Read these studies and reports being put out. Gain the insight you need to deliver exceptional service and keep your current customers loyal. Now, podcasts like this, like Telecast PH, can help you do some of the research and give you a rundown of what's happening and also give some advice on ways you can improve your customer experience without completely destroying your budget. For instance, there are many ways to increase responsiveness on the support floor. One way to avoid lengthy wait times is making sure you have a well-trained, knowledgeable support staff. A support staff that breeds a culture where every agent strives to become a product or subject matter expert. Now, this may seem rudimentary, and it is, but it's an area that is often overlooked when trying to staff the customer support department. Now, you want your support staff to be heavily equipped to be on the front lines. They should be able to provide resolutions and answers quickly and efficiently without having to get back to them or bounce the customer around to several other agents. Having a readily accessible knowledge base and other continuing training materials where agents can share and report unique cases, maybe write articles to be accessed and studied is a great start to this process. 
Now, another layer to consider are floor walkers and quality analysts. Floor walkers can be available for immediate assistance. And the name says it all. They walk the support floor, watching and listening for any agent who may be struggling or may need help or just an immediate second set of eyes. These are agents who have demonstrated not only superior knowledge, but also have leadership and critical thinking skills. Now, QAs, on the other hand, monitor from the back end. They can pull call recordings and audit and assess agents' email responses and find ways to improve them. This way, the agent can see beyond the CSATs what they could have done to better enhance the experience for the customer. Now, you can bring on that extra staff, add on these extra layers with agents who are knowledgeable, skilled, high quality, and who are passionate about the customer experience through outsourcing. Now, the term outsourcing has become synonymous with cost savings. However, if you're looking for an outsourcing VPO partner in the Philippines just to save money, then you're truly on the wrong track. Now, it is common knowledge that the prices from a BPO like Telework PH are going to be significant lower than what you would pay locally for an in-house staff. There's no question there. But what we offer is so much more than that. You can supercharge your support floor by building an offshore team to work alongside your in-house team and forever put an end to those long wait times and give your customers that instant response that they're looking for. And that's going to do it for this installment of Telecast PH. Thank you so much for listening. Have yourselves an amazing day. And if you want to find out more about Telework PH and what we do and how we can help your business, all you got to do is hop on over to www.teleworkph.com or hit me up on LinkedIn. Just search Jeff Thompson. I'm the Client Solutions Manager for Telework PH. And as the late, great Dr. Wayne Dyer said, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Take care, everyone. Be safe. This is Telecast PH, signing off.